Invictus by William Ernest Henley Out of the night that covers me Black as the pit From pole to pole I thank whatever gods may be For my unconquerable soul In the fell clutch of circumstance I have not winced nor cried aloud Under the bludgeonings of chance My head is bloody but I'm bowed Beyond this place of wrath and tears Looms but a horror of the shade and yet the meanness of the years finds and shall find me unafraid it matters not how straight the gate how charged with punishments the scroll I am the master of my fate I am the captain of my soul If by Rudyard Kipling If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs and blaming it on you If you can trust yourself when all men doubt you but make allowance for the doubting too If you can wait and not be tired by waiting or being lied about don't deal in lies or being hated don't give way to hating and you don't look too good nor talk too wise if you can dream and not make dreams your master if you can think and not make thoughts your aim if you can meet the triumph and disaster and treat those two impostors just the same if you can bear to hear the truth you've spoken twisted by names to make a trap for fools of which the things you gave your life to broken and stoop and build a muff with worn out tools if you can make one heap of all your winnings and risk it on one turn of pitch and toss and lose and start again at your beginnings and never brief a word about your loss if you can force your heart and nerve and sinew to serve your turn long after they are gone and so hold on then there is nothing in you except the will which says to them hold on if you can talk with crowds and keep your virtue or walk with kings nor lose the common touch if need of foes no loving friends can hurt you if all men count with you but none too much if you can fill the unforgiving minute with 60 seconds worth of distance run yours is the earth and everything that's in it and which is more you'll be a man my son Desiderata by Max Herman Go placidly amid the noise and the haste and remember what peace there may be in silence as far as possible without surrender be on good terms with all persons speak your truth quietly and clearly 
and listen to others, even to the dull and the ignorant. They too have their story. Avoid loud and aggressive persons. They are vexatious to the spirit. If you compare yourself with others, you may become vain or bitter, for always there will be greater and lesser persons than yourself. Enjoy your achievements as well as your plans. Keep interested in your own career, however humble it is a real possession in the changing fortunes of time. Exercise caution in your business affairs, for the world is full of trickery, but let this not blind you to what virtue there is. Many persons strive for high ideals, and everywhere life is full of heroism. Be yourself, especially do not feign affection, neither be cynical about love, for in the face of all aridity and disenchantment, it is as perennial as the grass. Take kindly the counsel of the years, gracefully surrendering the things of youth. Nurture strength of spirit to shield you in a sudden misfortune, but do not distress yourself with dark imaginings. Many fears are born of fatigue and loneliness. Beyond a wholesome discipline, be gentle with yourself. You are a child of the universe, no less than the trees and the stars. You have a right to be here. And whether or not it is clear to you, no doubt the universe is unfolding as it should. Therefore be at peace with God, whatever you conceive Him to be, and whatever your labors and aspirations, in the noisy confusion of life, keep peace in your soul, with all its sham, drudgery, and broken dreams. It is still a beautiful world, be cheerful, Strive to be happy. Do not go gentle into that good night by Dylan Thomas. Do not go gentle into that good night. Old age should burn and rave at close of day. Rage. Rage against the dying of the light. Though wise men at the end know dark is right, because their words had forked no lightning, they do not go gentle into that good night. Good men, the last wave, by crying how bright they frail deeds might have danced in a green bay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. Wild men who caught and sung the sun in flight, and learned too late, they grieved it on its way. Do not go gentle into that good night. Grave men near death, who see with blinding sight, blind eyes could blaze like meteors and be gay. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. And you, my father, there on the sad height, curse, bless me now, 
with your fierce tears. I pray, do not go gentle into that good night. Rage, rage against the dying of the light. The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost Two roads diverged in a yellow wood, and sorry, I could not travel both, and be one traveler. Long I stood, and looked down one as far as I could, to where it bent in the undergrowth, then took the other, as just as fair, and having perhaps the better claim, because it was grassy and wanted wear. Though, as for that, the passing there had warned them, really, about the same. And both that morning equally lay in leaves no step had trodden black. Oh, I kept thee first for another day, yet knowing how way leads on to way, I doubted if I should ever come back, I shall be telling this with a sigh. Somewhere, ages and ages hence, two roads diverged in the wood, and I I took the one less traveled by, and that has made all the difference.